Good morning, everybody. What a wonderful morning it is. It's a little rainy here in the St. Louis metropolitan area, but uh, it's still a great morning, and I got a great word for you on this morning. Happy Thursday morning to you. Happy Thursday morning to you. It's time for Morning Manna, and uh, I'm going to give you the text to talk and the takeaway, and you know this week we are dealing with entanglement. I'm still dealing with entanglement. In fact, I take it through Friday. I'm going to move all the way into Sunday. I'm going to deal with entanglement and the family. I'm going to deal with entanglement and the family. But this morning, I want to talk about entanglement. Greatness awaits you. Your greatness is awaiting you. So we want to give uh, Facebook Live just a few seconds to get our audience together. And I got my glasses this morning. I want to see who's here. Deborah, uh, Bridget, good morning. Good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Quentin. Uh, how's it going, Quentin? Long time no see. Uh, Sharon, how are you? Brenda, good morning, Brenda. How are you doing this morning? Thelma, Sean, hey, it's good to see everybody. Got my glasses so I can see folk this morning. And uh, Keisha, great. Good morning. Good morning. You guys already know it's the morning manna. Morning manna fam. Arlene, how are you? Uh, you know how we roll. We roll like this. It's always the text, the talk, the takeaway. And then I'm going to give you that. What you're going to do is share the manna. You're going to give the revelation that you get so others can get that manna. The hearts and the like, and we get right into it. Hey, let's break right into the word this morning. We're dealing with entanglement. We're dealing with entanglement. And this morning, I want to look at another prophetic book. I want to look at Jonah. I want to look at Jonah this morning and Jonah 4.1. It says, but Jonah was greatly displeased and became angry. He prayed to the Lord and said to the Lord, Lord, this is not what I said. This is not what I prayed for. He, it, Jonah 4 1 says he, he was angry, he was displeased, and he says, God, this is not what I prayed for. Now, I want you to look at this book, the book of Jonah. We often look at it as Jonah running away from God. I need you to flip the script. This book is not about Jonah running away from God. This book is about God chasing Jonah. This book is about God chasing Jonah. God is chasing Jonah because God is entangled with Jonah's destiny. God is entangled with Jonah's destiny as well as ours. And God has to get Jonah's destiny and his greatness out of him, even though Jonah doesn't even recognize. So God has to chase him. Three things I want you to get this morning from that. Entanglement with God requires engagement. It requires engagement. You need to stop moving away from being engaged with God. And I'm not just talking about just a simple prayer time, a simple uh, uh, devotion time. I'm talking about getting in the face of God. I'm talking about getting where God wants you to get so he can get you engaged. Because what does Jonah do? When you do not get engaged with God, you go down, down, down. Jonah went down to Joppa. He went down in the ship. He then got thrown over the ship and went down in the sea, went down in the uh, well's belly or the fish's belly, and the fish went down in the sea. When you do not entangle or permit yourself to be engaged with God, because God is trying to entangle you in your greatness, you go down. That, that's no for, There's no other place for you to do or to go but down. Here's the second thing I want you to grab this morning. Entanglement God with God means being enriched. Entanglement with God means being enriched or enrichment. What do you mean by this? Remember the story of Jonah. Jonah is called to teach and to preach to his own relatives. He's upset. So they'll never repent. I, I, I don't like them, but you need to be enriched by who they are. These are your relationships, your relatives, Jonah. But Jonah is not interested in this. But Nineveh is full of people who are related to him. They're full of people who are related to him. The nations are together. So you got to be, you got to be uh, engaged. You got to be enriched. And here's the third thing. You have to have involvement. 
You have to have involvement when it comes down to being entangled with God because God is entangled with you trying to get you into the greatness that he's called you into. What do I mean by involvement? Do you not realize that there were 120,000 people who came to God to include the animals? According to the last chapter of Jonah and the last few verses, the animals came to God. The people came to God, 120,000 on one sermon. Now, if that doesn't mean that Jonah has a great word in his mouth, I don't know what does. I know very few people on one word, one sermon, one teaching, one Bible lesson, 120,000 people, a whole city, and the animals too. That means that there has to be an involvement. You got to be involved. A lot of times it was, I don't want to deal with church folk. I don't want to deal with this person. I don't want to deal. Well, therein lies what God is trying to get you entangled to do. Because your greatness cannot be by yourself. Greatness always includes other people. What's your takeaway this morning? Your takeaway is this. God chases us to make us great. God is entangled with us to make us great. So you might as well be enriched. You might as well get involved and you might as well be engaged or you're going to go down, down, down because God has something great for you. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you. Give you peace. Hey, I got more uh, entanglement tomorrow morning. God bless you. Share the matter. Bye now.